How's it going? Dallas aka Inverness and welcome to another episode of YouTube Unsolved. That's right, today we're going to be covering the ancient YouTube comet that ruined people's lives. The supposedly cursed comet that took place and quite literally ruined every single person's life who interacted with it in any single way. It sounds unbelievable, and to be honest, it was pretty much unbelievable to me, it still is. You know what day it is, um, it's that spook day of the year, and obviously you can't just go around doing your trick-or-treating like you kids always used to in the years past for obvious reasons, so I felt like I was going to try to make this day a little bit more spookier for you while you just stay at home by basically making this very special episode uh, with this subject, which is by far the creepiest subject I've covered in this entire series, like literally. I've only done about five official episodes of the YouTube Unsolved series, but every single one of them, it was kind of all fun and games, you know, like, it was all debunkable, it was all explainable, but this one, when I was looking at all the research and all of the information and going through all the situations we're going to discuss in this particular video, uh, for whatever reason, I felt myself becoming more and more eerily creeped out. This was found by a user who submitted it to me via my email, and they sent me some of the screenshots too. Um, so thank you for that. And also, please, if you have anything that's weird on YouTube that you found, submit it to my email, and I'll appreciate that you might get a whole episode made about it. So, with all that being said, let's get straight into this. This all started on 4chan, and that's not that surprising because it usually is just either 4chan or Reddit, the two scariest places on the entire internet, obviously. I'm gonna let you guess exactly what year this started in. There's gonna be a little poll right there, uh, and you can just take a guess. It's gonna have a bunch of years on there, and uh, just take a wild guess what year you think this mystery started in. It's not a trick question, but I hope you guessed anyways. It's 2008, because apparently what I've noticed in this series is that all of these mysteries seem to start in 2008. Like, 2008 is some kind of, like, accursed year where everything just became mysterious. This post was made by an anonymous 4chan user in October of 2008. No other update was ever made by this particular person after this post. It was just one single post with a whole bunch of replies underneath it, which really made the whole thing a whole lot worse. So yeah, and just as one final disclaimer, if you are superstitious about things, I don't know what to tell you. You shouldn't have clicked this video because we're going straight into this. Let's get into the zone right now. October 5th, 2008. Hello, X-Board. I know this is out of my league of understanding and will probably receive a fair share of criticism for being so paranoid, but I have to come forward about it. Just last Wednesday, I was watching my normal favorite playlist on YouTube.com, which I usually would spend about an hour a day on up to this point. What should be noted is that I comment a lot, and I like to repost a lot of the comments that I find funny. I like rating almost every video I watch too, so needless to say, I'm active on the site. One of the videos I regularly come back to is the Jesus is my friend song, linked below. Okay, and so for all the normies out there, which is basically everyone, uh, the video that's being talked about is this. So yeah, that's it. Just a normal 2008 religious fun type song video. Nothing too unusual about it. I always like to read the new comments that appear on the video since it's becoming more popular. Just as I said earlier, I feel like I'll get hate and probably trolled because of this, but this is where the horrible stuff starts to happen. One comment which was in the highest rated section wasn't even rated at all, but had a bunch of replies which off the bat doesn't make sense to me. It was also in a different language. I don't even want to recount verbally what the comment said, as I believe it to be the origin of all of my current problems. Here's the link. For all those who don't know, Google has a fairly new program called Translate. So if you really want to, and I really hope you don't, you can use that to decipher it. As for me, I replied asking what the words meant out of curiosity, which was what the majority of all the others were asking in the replies too. I swear to you, within the two minutes after I clicked the reply button, I was already watching halfway through the next video, and my ceiling fan fell, missing me by only a foot. Alright, so now we're getting straight into the, uh weird zone here. Ceiling fans don't often just fall, as far as I know, right? I mean, that's not just usually a thing that happens. It could be just a coincidence, obviously. But, we're just getting started. It was the loudest thing ever, and gave me the worst jump scare of my life. I'm only 13 years old, so my parents obviously had to deal with it. Other than that, 
small things started to happen. On the way to school two mornings after, my mom got in a mild accident with me in the front. Someone hit us on the side when we were turning on the green light, coincidentally stopping us just barely from being hit dead on by some idiot who ran the red light at crazy speeds. Either way, I had to be late to school. Okay, so we literally went straight from the weird zone to the danger zone because this person apparently almost had a life or death situation car crash. All of these images have been reverse image searched to make sure that they're valid and they weren't like reused anywhere else on the internet. It seems to me, based off all the websites that I've used, that this image was completely original to this one poster in this thread. Either that or they got some pretty dang good Photoshop skills. Or they actually just crashed a car. Just so they could fake this. <laughs> My brother stepped in glass while taking out the trash and had to be rushed to the emergency room. He had to get 15 stitches on his ankle and Achilles tendon. I'm not showing an image of that for obvious reasons. And just today, my parents told me that they were now in the process of separating and wanted to wait for the right time to tell me. After the first few incidents, I couldn't be bothered to think anything of it. But all this? I just went back to the original video I found the comment on, and when you may expect that it mysteriously disappeared like in a horror movie, no. It's still there, even with more replies and four thumbs up. I'm not a superstitious person, my family's not even religious, but now I'm questioning that. If anyone has any info on this commenter or wants to tell me I'm crazy, please reply. I just needed to share this, potentially let someone who works for YouTube know. Alright, so that's cool, you know, at first glance, obviously anyone would just instantly just say that this is a creepypasta and everything's normal. Like, you see creepypastas like this lingering all around 4chan and, and all over the internet, especially back in 2008. It was the prime time for that spooky time or era of the internet to start happening. The first user in particular wrote up a follow-up post and it goes like this. I've seen this exact same commenter too on this video. I'm a part of my church's music club and often look up the songs we planned on playing beforehand as a reference. And I can tell you that whoever this person is, is only commenting on religious videos. Most particularly with the name Jesus in the title from what I've noticed. They always comment on the same language. It looks like the original Dropbox link is not working. It's alright, there's lots of bugs with that website. Luckily, I saved it here if you want. Since the original image that was in the original post was not available, and that's probably because a long time ago it got deleted off Dropbox, this individual person right here, Crust Boy, just happened to have the image saved on his computer a long time ago and he reposted it. So I'm about to show the image of the original comment right now, and I'm just saying, if you happen to be prone to believing this type of stuff, close your ears, cover your eyes, whatever, do what you need to do, but here it is. This is the original comment made by Sandro Douglads, and uh, as you can see, first glance, it's just a bunch of gibberish. Looks like someone just slammed her face into the keyboard over and over again, and that's not really that healthy, so if that is what it is, please don't do that, Sandro. But it just keeps going down and down from here, so let's keep going. So I replied to the comment, I wrote hi, that's it, nothing happened. An hour later, I got a ding from my notifs, ducking Sandro whatever last name messaged me, lol some troll. So Geolifer, which is the name of the user who made this post, seems like they might have uh, stumbled across this series of posts talking about this one comment. Maybe thought that they were just going to try to play around with the fire, mess around with it or something like that. This was a couple weeks after the original posts were made. And as we can see with the screenshot, we see that now Sandro has actually progressed to the next level. Now Sandro's not just making comments, but emailing people in this extremely old, archaic style email looking thing. It looks like it's Gmail back in its first official years. I'm not even sure if Gmail existed back then, but I'm pretty sure it did. And it's just the same jumble of words and letters all put together. And you know what? Just because of that, I decided to take the risk for you guys and I manually typed out all the words in Google Translate just to see if these random things because they do look like they're speakable so i decided to write them all out and translate to see if there is any actual language and there's not but google translate seems to think it's african but it's still just the same words in the right hand side of the screen so so now we move on to the final post and it's really something else okay wtf why is this thread dead this is some serious i've been robbed I lost everything. 
I woke up last night at 3 a.m. to the sound of rummaging outside my door. I live in a 500 square foot apartment and have no roommates. Loud banging and running around. My gut instinct was to call the cops, so I did so while under my bed. The police were on the line with me for 30 minutes straight while whoever the hell broke into my house kept making the racket non-stop. The operator eventually told me that now the response time in my small city was going to be even longer because one or more of the police cars crashed on the way to my place. Like, are you kidding me? The scariest bit of this was when the sound just stopped. I mean like, immediately. I thought there was no way whoever was in my house just left like that. They never even entered my room, which is the only other room in the whole place. The cops got there, and the place was soiled. All my sh- gone. Even my car, gone, without a trace. My key was still on the front table though, and I'm now crashing at my friend's place for the time being. For the record, F. Sandro Douglas. What? <laughs> Man, that's- That's getting to the point where it's kind of- too much to me. We have one more instance of time after I scoured the entire Google support page looking for any instance of Sandro Douglads, and there is actually a person who made a support question talking about how this comment was kind of bothering them in so many different ways. And this was all the way in 2011, so two years later, and it goes like this. I have a work Google account. A user by the name of Sandro Douglads continued to comment on all of my posts, both on videos and on my page. Many of my followers have complained about this individual for multiple reasons. Can you please do something about this? I've tried reporting, but I have seen nothing happen. To this day, no one ever replied to this question. So now we come to the same time that we do in every single episode, and you know what it is. All I can really say is that I think, in my own personal opinion, this whole thing is true, but not true in th in the way that you think. I think the events that took place in this whole thing actually did happen because there'd be no reason for these people to just be lying about this whole thing. They never like seeked publicity. They never posted it anywhere else as far as I know other than this thread which didn't get any attention at all. So there wouldn't really be that much of a reason for them to make it all up. On top of the fact the screenshots are all proven to be real as far as reverse image search technology can confirm. So, I think that this whole thing was just a coincidence. You can look up Sandro's name on YouTube and nothing shows up. There's just one result that's not even related whatsoever. Clearly, that's been deleted a long, long time ago. And these people, I think they're telling the truth. However, it re it's really based off your own interpretation. If you are the type of person to be sus superstitious about things, I certainly think that there is a possibility that this could have been something like that. Maybe the guy's just been playing too much Wizard 101. But yeah, that is the ancient curse YouTube comment that ruined people's lives. Now, other than this post, which happened two years later on uh, the Google support questions section, which didn't get any reply, by the way, it just got archived instantly right after it was posted, with just one thumbs up. I don't know who gave it a thumbs up, but no one replied. No person or employee replied to it. Maybe even Google looked at this whole thing and they were like, nah fam, I'm not dealing with this. I guess we'll have to find out if this whole thing was real if I end up figuring out that every single person who watched this video got cursed. Again. So yeah, whoever Sandro Douglads is, um, all I can say to you fam is, if you really are out there cursing people sl by slamming your head into a keyboard, <laughs> Please just stop, like that's just not cool man, it's probably not healthy for your face either. So yeah, that's the video, and as of right now, this current mystery is still... Unsolved. Maybe next time, we'll solve something, um, but this is just, there's not enough information generally, that's just how it is. Uh, this happened so long ago, and no one really knew anything. No one's really known anything or had any information past the year 2011 of any of this. It's scary, okay? It's scary. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, and until then, have a spooky day. Goodbye.